Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Andrew Vogel. Great to see you, Lou. We're at the Claremont Collection. It's a private collection. Andrew, tell us a little bit about this location. Yeah, so a very cool place. It's a private automobile museum in the city of Chicago. Uh, we're about 100,000 square feet, over 300 automobiles on the floor here in a great display. It's just, it's a beautiful place. We're private though, so uh, Lou's here, so we're going to see some cars, which is great. But you can go to ClaremontCollections.com or ClaremontCollections.org. You pick one. We have them both for you, uh, with two Ks, that is, and check it out. But Lou's here. We're going to see a great car today. We're in the Woody room. And that means we're gonna see a Woody. Andrew, what kind of Woody are we going to see? All right, so this one is a 1947 Chrysler Town & Country. Really the flagship uh, for Chrysler in 1947. Wow. Uh, it was a big deal automobile, sort of the, all the glitz and glamor of, uh, that they could muster in post-war America. Uh, it was really a, a great example of what could be done. And if there was any doubt, I, I think you figured out that there's more than a little bit of chrome involved, uh, but it, it's just a, it's a lovely, very large vehicle. I mean, big bathtub-like hood to it, and look at the Chrysler emblem. We did the uh, 49, you could really see the difference in some of the, the detailing across the hood, and just like, uh, you know, I was noticing we've got Mopar listed on these on the these forwards. lenses. Yeah. You know, really, really kind of cool how that all comes together. And th this one has won several awards uh, for its authenticity, and the, the of course the restoration has been impeccable on this. But but it started out as a as a great car that was well preserved, uh, and then uh, made even better through some restoration work. Uh, but but authentic, nothing that hasn't been overdone. Trying to give people the look of the whole car one shot at a time. This is a large ride. They've got the Chrysler emblem like so scripted. The white wall tires. That's a whole lot of chrome on that. It's a not just a, chrome. a hub cap in the day. It was a whole disc and everything. It's a, it's a lot of chrome. Town and country on the hood. You know, just uh, we got the fog lamps. The Mopar. You know, I'm going to take the liberty of here's the town and country on the hood. Here's the 49. It's on the fender. And well, so much has changed between the two, yeah. two years. Yeah, and later, like there's right. that front end I was telling you about with the script in the center there and the big Chrysler logo right. versus the Chrysler here. And I'll tell you. If you don't have your Woody's, Andrew, side by side, you just really don't know this. You, you don't know. So, <laughs> and, and we cover the bases here, 47, 48, 49, and then a 50 coupe. Because yeah. 49 was the last year for the convertible. So we've got them all, so you, you, can, you can see all Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. And when you look at the actual wood, you see like how it fits together. And like even this piece right here, like how that was you know, carved in there like that. I mean, just amazing. I mean, the, the, the amount of time it must, must have taken to put this together, it's just... All these town and countries, you know, were basically yeah. hand-built. You know, the car was put together and, and body uh, assembled to the frame, but, but all this wood made it very much a hand assembly process from the, about the A-pillar back. Look at, look at that. I mean, just this massive hinge. One thing that I want to take a shot of the back of it for a second is that... Um, just think about that rear end just driving past you. That's amazing. Just amazing. One thing that I, I noticed as well is there's this center light. You know, we have those on cars now. You know, with the fluid drive. And the tail lights, and just so you could see the tail lights on the other year, much different. And only the back opens up there. But we're gonna stay focused on the town and country in case you forgot leaving you almost like a uh, train car back in the day that had the uh, observatory telling you what it was and you could see the gas filler versus they actually took the other one and encased it yeah so i mean really you know but again you, you wouldn't know these things unless you're sitting next to them this is kind of what my car story is about it's just the historical Differences in some of these cars. Let's take a look at the you see trunk. this. Yeah. Just the way they open is just so cool. It's kind of fun to see. You know, the, the, again, the great big 
struts that hold the, the weight of this up. Wow. Yeah, and this one actually still holds up, which is great. Nicely finished. It just course, just sit know. in there for a second so people kind of get a feel for that. No, yeah, I'm I, serious. I, Go I ahead. I know how you are. No, I'm not going to shut it on you. <laughs> <laughs> but All right, folks, that, just that so you know, we're at the, the Claremont <laughs> Collection. If you've never seen me, it's <laughs> fine blue. I'm in the trunk. But this is this is six feet tall person. I mean, you're sitting comfortably. Yeah, it's, it's Look at actually, that. It'd actually be good for a picnic or something. Yeah, that's right? massive. You and your girlfriend just, you know, come on, put it in there. Get the, get the sandwich out. Right, exactly. That is great. All right, let's open the... Uh, Let's open the interior here. It is a convertible. Look at the way the handles go like that and the jewelry on that. And I get the, what does that say on that? Safety clutch, interesting. And then the, some of the handles here. And look, at the, look at the detail even up under this dashboard, but take a look at the dashboard. Notice it says on the center of the steering wheel, fluid drive. Let me give you a deeper look. Completely different dashboard on the other one. If you want to see the other one, go to My Car Story with Lou to, or My Car Story with Lou on YouTube and point in the word Woody. And you should be able to see all of them because we're going to video quite a few cars in the Woody room today. There's Chrysler. The straight up buttons there. And of course you can see by the, the radio and the whole center pod that it, it's all original. Look at that. These big handles in here. Even like the Kind of the jewelry on the dash, or the doors, I should say. Really cool, really cool. Let's uh, put this in the back of that. And also that I noticed said uh, Mopar on it as well. Let's open the hood if you would. Sometimes we get to start up. We're not going to be able to get to start this one, but we'll take a look under the hood. it locks into place right and you need it to lock into place because Andrew again stay right there yeah, look it. at the look at the size of this a small aircraft on this hood, my goodness yeah. so and take a look this is a this is an eight obviously a straight eight um, the Spitfire in the day as they called it uh, but you see great detail here and, and very authentic uh, no sparkly bits under the hood but but just real and, and a great example of uh, how it would have rolled off the assembly line really. I love when it's when it's like that, when I get the chance to really see all the parts to it like that. Really pretty cool. And if you notice down the center there, it says Spitfire across the top. And there's where you can see the two, four Six, eight, on this. And you see all this space in here. I put my hand in here. Look at all the dead that's space. A, that's an arm. For I mean, my hand. That's my yeah, my whole yeah. arm. Before you get to the radiator. That's a lot of room. The air filter. Carburation. Pretty cool little piece of history here. All right, Indeed. let's. Uh, here's how you shut the hood. You kind of push it. And it Let folds that back release. in. Yeah. Carries a lot of weight that piece. We're gonna make sure we shut that hood just right. There it is. Andrew, jump yeah. right in there. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Good. thanks. Thanks for being on my car story. Another great historic car from the Claremont collection. Always great to see you, Lou. Thanks for stopping by.